Yo, what's popping? So we're going to take a look at all of the roster moves that have been made this past week uh, before the opening day for Overwatch League Season 5, H3, I suppose. So starting off with Lige is no longer with the Hangzhou Spark, who was on a two-way contract, but I don't think he was actually playing with anyone in contenders. He only played like one map on King's Row against the Valiant. Maybe he played that Circuit Royale as well. I don't remember. But... Regardless, not a big part of this team, and I don't even think he was playing any contenders, so I don't know if maybe that contract was stopping him from going on to a different team or whatever, but he is now just a complete free agent, no longer tied to the Spark at all. So not a huge, not, not a big trade at all, or not a big roster move. Next, we have Antun J joining the New York Excelsior. And they say he'll be playing on Thursday, which makes sense. They didn't have a main support, despite having four supports for a little bit. But uh, this should be a very good pickup because he was very solid with Defiant last year. And he was looking pretty good in contenders. And he's just a good pickup because he already has Overwatch League experience as well. So he should be very easy to just slot in and play basically he don't have to worry about oh well he's coming from contenders is he going to be good enough we know he should be good enough and he should help this team uh probably a lot and it will allow gang engine or her one to uh go over to the flex support and don't have to worry about oh gang engine lucio or anything like that and uh as this was also made they also released a tweet uh, thanking myungbong for his dedication to the team and they have basically released him, to which Myungbong responded, question mark, because apparently he was not he was not told about it at all, which is very, very poor from New York. They released a statement about how they failed to communicate with the team before the announcement, and there was some miscommunication somewhere. But, um, yeah, basically Myungbong found out from the team's Twitter that he was basically fired, in a way. Uh, he says he was dropped due to a mistake from... From the social team or whatever i don't think so i think the rumors was there were going to be like either a negotiation with a trade or they were seeing if they could just drop him or whatever was going on in the end he's just dropped so he is a free agent to be picked up but myungbong was playing pretty poorly this season and he wasn't going to see any any play time at all with the other three supports on this team so yeah you just got to drop him or whatever i don't think anyone would have really wanted myungbong i can't think of a team that would have really benefited so i think this is going to be the the result no matter what. And then the final news is the Houston Outlaws have signed Lep and Doge. So Doge is a European tank player, and I believe Lep is a European support. I guess I should have checked that before. Or maybe he's an NA, actually. I don't entirely remember. Yeah, yeah, he played an NA. So, yeah. That should be good. Good pickups, I guess. Nice to have round out. I think getting another tank is very important because now you don't have to rely entirely on Dante. And I guess Piggy to an extent, but Piggy really wasn't able to flex out as they probably would have hoped. So, yeah, they get left, they get Doge. Solid pickups. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how much Doge actually plays because he is playing from Europe, I believe. So he's going to be on ping. Maybe this means Piggy was unable to pick up the Junker Queen as they wanted, or Dante was as well, or something. But basically, Houston have also confirmed that they're not going to do any more roster moves as of right now. They're going to utilize an eight-person roster, which is fine. I think this is good. I can't hurt. These pickups can't hurt. So solid. And I want to end this on a final note, is that the uh, trade deadline is August 18th. So teams only have like eight more days as I'm recording this to actually may finish out their rosters and cement themselves as for what they're doing for the rest of the season. So I would expect a few more pickups, a few more trades maybe even to come up as we take a look at what's going on there. But should be should be interesting moving into the uh, third stage here. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts on any of these signings. The most impactful ones are probably the Houston ones. I guess the New York one with Anshu J is also pretty good. But yeah, so... Like this video if you like it, subscribe for more daily Overwatch League content. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have yourself a good one, deuces.